Hello, this is Mike Hunter. I'm the Training Center Coordinator for the hospital's American Heart Association Training Center. On October 21st, 2020, the American Heart Association rolled out their 2020 guidelines for CPR and emergency cardiac care. As instructors, we'll need to be updated on these latest guidelines. There are many subtle changes for most of what we teach in BLS, ACLS, and PALS. These new 2020 guidelines must be instituted no later than February 1st, 2021. Each instructor will need to complete the instructor update in each discipline that you teach. There are no fees for these updates. So I'm going to show you how you can access these new updates. If you go to your instructor network account and sign in, you'll see your dashboard. And on your dashboard, you will see a banner showing the 2020 instructor updates. There's a link, you click to it, and then you will go to the instructor updates. And you'll notice that the filter is already applied for uh, instructor training. On this screen, you'll find all of the instructor updates for 2020, as well as some other things that, depending on what you've done in the past, uh, may or may not be there. So you will notice that all of the 2020 instructor updates are at the top. You'll notice there's no fees listed for it, so there, there, uh, there, there are no fees for these courses. So you simply launch the course. And you'll notice that there is, uh, you'll see ACLS, you'll see BLS, Heart Saver, and PALS. So any of these courses that you teach, you will need to do that instructor update. So when you click on launch the course, and I'm going to show you on the BLS instructor update, you click on the course and you'll be brought to this screen. Since I've already completed mine, it allows me to review, but when you're new to this, uh, I believe this will say start a course. So you start the course and it will run through the instructor update for you. Once you complete that, you'll come back to this screen. You will have a survey to complete. Once you complete that short survey, it will allow you to print a certificate. The certificate is what you need to either print and send to me uh, through the in-house mail uh, or drop it off at my office or email it to me, whichever you want. Once that's complete, you'll have access to claim CME or CE. So if your profession uh, requires you to have continuing education, then you can claim those hours through that. So once you've completed each instructor update for the disciplines you teach and have sent me the certificate, that's all that's required. However, I wanted to show you some other things that are available uh, should you be interested in looking at them. So if you go back to your dashboard and to the instructor training, you'll notice over here on the left side of the screen, uh, the instructor training is checked and there is also, if you scroll down, there will also be BLS, ACLS, and PALS product and course orientations. A lot of this information is contained in the instructor update. However, this does give a little bit additional information about the actual products for each discipline. So if you're interested in seeing that, that is available to you and there is, again, no charge uh, for those uh, courses. The other things that are available is on October 21st, the American Heart Association uh, had a full day rollout of uh, webinars and explaining the uh, explaining the uh, guidelines changes. Um, those are available on the American Heart Association uh, YouTube site, and so you can uh, search for those. There were actually four different sessions. Um, two of them applied to us. The other two applied to some other things, other products that the American Heart Association offers. 
Um, one that was about 50 minutes in length is the CPR guidelines, science and education updates. This was the first session. It's the primary uh, session to explain uh, the guidelines and uh, the education updates. The other webinar that was offered were the um, for updates for the training network. And this is the and this was about 40 minutes long and contained information on the education side with changes to um, teaching methodology. And so they will uh, explain that there as well. Um, also, you can search the American Heart Association website for the 2020 guidelines and actually view the guidelines. Um, they are free for download. Uh, they do have a uh, printed version, uh, which I will have uh, shortly. And uh, I'll have that here in my office if anybody's interested in seeing that. Um, but there is a um, printed uh, version. So you can search, uh, either search the guidelines, uh, just doing an open search here, or you can select the various parts of the guidelines. And you see here that there are a total of eight parts, um, beginning with the executive summary to the evidence evaluation and guidelines development, uh, part three, adult basic and advanced life support, part four, pediatric basic and advanced life support, part five is neonatal resuscitation, part six is resuscitation education science, um, and part seven is systems of care, part eight is first aid, and then you have the actual algorithms that you can actually download and look at if you choose to. So those are uh, all available there. And again, this is what the guidelines actually look like, the PDF version. And the uh, print version will look exactly like this as well. So as you go through, it will go through each of the different guidelines and the changes and um, all the way through um, to the end. So it will go through each of the guidelines and each of the disciplines in that one document. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to answer any questions I have. Uh, my uh, office phone number is 812-734-3818 and my email is m-h-u-n-t-e-r at h-c-h-i-n dot org. Let me know if you have any questions and have a good day.